What does the word love actually mean? Let's get our Bibles and let's get started. Hi guys, thank you for joining me here back on this channel. As you know, we talk about Christ, we talk about life, and we uncover biblical practices so that you and I can explore our unknown years. And today we're talking about love. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up soon, is this weekend. So I just want to delve into the idea of love and see what it is according to the Bible. So let's get started. So firstly, in the Bible, we see love cropping up all over the place and we are called as Christians to love each and every person. And we can see this here in John chapter 13, verses 34 to 35. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So we're seeing here guys that Jesus Christ comes down and he encapsulates the whole of the commandments and he just tells us to love one another. And we know that he tells us to love our neighbors and to love God. Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses four to eight. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist in its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. So we see here that love is actually a really big thing. It's a self-sacrificing thing. It's a giving thing. It's something that you do towards others, not just your spouse or someone that you're in a relationship with, but it also means your friends, your family, your anyone in this entire world is the people that you need to love. Doing even one of those things listed in that verse is really great but love is all of those things love encapsulates all of them and we as christians are called to love all right let's delve deeper into the bible and let's see what else we can find about love we can go to john chapter 15 verse 13 greater love has no one than this that someone laid down his life for his friends this guys is amazing it just encapsulates what the purest love can be. And it says that it's when someone lays down his life for his friends. You know, when's the last time you've done that? Are you willing to give up your life, to lay down your entire life, to possibly jump in front of that bullet for a friend, a family member, for anyone else other than yourself? You know, we see here that love is the most complete, unselfish act that you can do with someone else so we see here that god encapsulates that love for us that sacrificial love and we see it in john 3 16 which says for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life and i mean guys that is just so beautiful that is so amazing that god will have the love for us the pure love the sacrificial love to send down his son and sacrifice him on the cross so that we can be saved we can go to romans chapter 5 verse 8 it says but god shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So we see here that God didn't just die for people that were good or people that were righteous. He died for everyone. He died for sinners. He died for people that don't even acknowledge him or don't even take him serious or don't know him at all. He came down and he said, I'm gonna sacrifice my life for everyone. So, you know, sometimes with the world, like sometimes with this Valentine's Day, you know, the world promotes a certain kind of love to do with just you and your spouse or you and your partner. The certain kind of love that the world promotes is you only love someone if they're nice to you. 
You only love someone if they're being good to you. You never love them if they're, they disacknowledge you, if you don't like them, etc., etc. You know, it's saying that if you like someone and they like you, you love each other. But God is saying that we should love regardless on who the person is. And isn't that so beautiful? And isn't that so amazing that we have a God like that? Let's go to Luke chapter 6, verses 27 to 36. For I say to you who hear, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. To the one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from the one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who begs from you, and from one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. But love your enemies and do good. And lend expecting nothing in return. And your reward will be great. And you will be sons of the Most High. For he is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Be merciful, even as your father is merciful. So we're just seeing the wonders here in the Bible. We are seeing the wonders of God here. You know, he is saying that it's not about tit for tat, you know, and when you borrow someone money or when you lend someone something, you're just expecting something in return. You know, when you're giving someone love, you're expecting something back. And, you know, God is saying, no, he's saying when you show that love, when you show that care, true love is when you're not expecting anything back. You know, you're expecting just the peace and the blessing from God, knowing that you've made someone happy, you've shown kindness to them, you've shown patience, you've shown all the kinds of things that love is, and that is a reward enough for you. So funny enough, here's another kind of love that the world just doesn't want to speak about. You know, the world says that love is always this soft thing that just caresses over people and goes over. But have you heard of the kind of love that's called tough love? We can go to Proverbs chapter 13, verse 24. Whoever spares the rod hates his son, but he who loves him is diligent to discipline him. And we see here that God is our father, you know, and he loves us, he cares for us, he provides every single thing that we need, even to those that don't deserve it. But he also disciplines us, you know, so that we are not led into the act of sin. And the world likes to teach you that love is only this thing about rubbing someone on the head, buying them a drink, buying them this, doing this, doing that. But discipline also comes into it because if you love someone, you will try to also keep them away from sin or keep them away from evil as much as you can. And you know, some people in the world, they kind of mistake this kind of love for hate because they, they don't see it in the same way. They don't see that this kind of love is just as powerful and just as good as the other kind of love and just as necessary. Like imagine you had a friend and that friend is an alcoholic. You know, you might tell that friend, no, nope, I'm taking a drink away from you. And they might actually hate you for it for a very, very long time. But what you've actually done there is you've showed your love for them. You've showed your care for them by actually taking away what they desire and what they actually want so that they can get well and they can get healthy. And guess what? In a couple years, when they're feeling better, when they've stopped having that drink and when they've stopped doing that stuff, they will actually thank you for it and they will love you and they will really appreciate what you did. So that's really an example of where tough love can come in handy. 
And I mean, the way how I grew up, guys, I mean, my mom definitely did not spare the rod. And at the time, maybe it might have been a little painful, a little thing. But if you do this out, not out of anger, you know, you're doing this just to discipline and show your child what the truth is and showing that you want to protect them from sin and you don't want them to interact with sin, that is actually good because now that I'm actually grown up, you know, I understand all of those things and you learn about consequence, you learn about love and you learn about so many different kinds of things through that act. So guys, don't spare the rug from your children. <laughs> You need it. You need it. Trust me. So guys, there's one more thing that we can figure out about love in the Bible. But let's just do a quick recap on what love is. So it says love is patient. Love is kind. Love was a bunch of different things we saw in that verse in Corinthians. We also see that we're not just called to love our spouses and to love the people and our friends. We're supposed to love everyone, including your enemies. And then we're also seeing that love doesn't always look the same every single time. We're seeing that tough love is definitely a form of love and can actually save someone's life. So really and truly, where does this love come from? You know, love is something that is eternal. What is it? What is this force? And what is it that is influencing our lives today? We can look at 1 John chapter 4, verse 8. Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. And I mean, guys, isn't that so beautiful? You know, we're seeing that the source of love, the source of all of those things that we spoke about is God. You know, he himself is the embodiment of love. And he gives it to us, you know, he creates us in his image and he allows us to produce love too. We see here that it says here, if you don't know love, you really do not know God because he is love. So anyway guys, that's a wrap for this video. I just wanted to show you guys what love is this Valentine's, you know. And I mean, don't just love your spouse this Valentine's. Don't just love the people that love you back. I'm challenging you guys to go out and love people, even your enemies. Go and speak to that person that you haven't spoken to in a while. Maybe you're not seeing eye to eye. Maybe I don't know what the case is, but you know, just show them some love today. So anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll be doing the live stream again, and I know I didn't do the live stream last week as well. So I'm just gonna double up on the live stream. I'm gonna do two topics in one. We're gonna have a big good old chat, and I'll see you guys there. And make sure you subscribe to the channel also, and let's continue to explore our unknown yet.